and your so-called governors and the Hanas and the Andreas. We understand how our South Sudan side to work. I know them very well. When they felt we were together, they couldn't do anything. So they kept waiting. They kept pushing them. They kept giving them money. Go and attack IPOB. Attack what the Kami is doing. As soon as they started doing it, as soon as the world stood up to say they are no longer part of what we are doing. As soon as the governor started to talk rubbish, he can come to my state. He cannot come to my state. I also knew that was the time. And they struck yesterday. That's what I'm waiting for. I keep telling our people they don't understand. I know them. I've studied them for many years. I know them. I know how they reason. That is why I can defeat them. And I will always defeat them. Our people are not reasonable enough to understand the threat facing them. They don't know. But we are here to Everything happening now, I knew in 2012 that is going to happen. The killing happening in the north, I told you August 2009 that it will happen. They called it hate speech. Today they are killing you. There is nobody you can run to or protect you. Tell me here on this earth that you have a governor in the state as you have in Anambara. I will suffer and you came in. The total of the bomb on the shack. Kill all the people in the He has not said anything. Till now. These are the people. They want to come out to put for them. Now they've been killed by full and men dressed in. Meanwhile, have vigilante. When they see IPOB, they start jumping up. Now, full and madmen have come to kill you. Where is the vigilante in that village? Where is civil defense in that village? Where is the DPO of that place? Police, where are you? How about the army? How about the navy? How about the force? All of these people patrol the roads every day. They patrol every blessed day. Isn't it ironic? Peace Corps, civil defense, police, army, navy, air force, vigilante. They all have guns. But nobody saw these killers come. And go. I told you so. I said, when the time comes, I will say, I told you so. They will keep killing you. When they ask you to come out to vote, they are asking you to vote for a few. If you go to vote, you are voting for your coffin, your casket. I'm telling you, only Biafra can save you. Yeah. Only Biafra can save you. Yeah. You people don't know what they have in store for you. But I will tell you. Some of us grew up thinking that he will learn the stars from Onisha and ends in Okwangwa. You know where Okwa is? Before you cross the bridge and enter people. Uh, not Port Harcourt. Iguacha is the name, not Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt is a white man's name. The proper name is Iguacha. Do you know that Igbo land starts from a post state? Yes. It starts from a do. That's correct. A banke. All the way to a people inside the Atlantic Ocean. Are you aware of that? Yes. No, you don't know. That is my problem with some people that call themselves your political leaders. They say they are the elite. They say they are the people that represent your interest. Does Ohaneze represent you? No! Because if they do, they would have done what we are doing now. 
There is no way we are going to abandon a Bante which is a worker. It can never happen. We will not abandon our book. Are you aware of that? Do you know a place called Umunebe? Are we going to leave them? No. How about on Ichibo? Are we going to leave them? No. How about on Bashuku? Are we going to leave them? No. How about Ubuani? Are we going to leave them? No. How about Oh, he said, no. even from the names, you can know where they come from. Yes. But out of our collective stupidity and ignorance, fear, fear, fear. They have dealt with us so much in 50 years that you don't know somebody from your body knows of which they call a bosom is your own person. So you don't know. The Yoruba media say handshake across the Niger, handshake, to give you the impression that the boundary between Yoruba land and the Igbo land starts from Headbridge on It's a lie. It starts from a two state, a one cake. I'm glad people from Benue are here. Is that correct? Yes, sir. The same Benue, one man called Abuba Kassav. Said I should not count Benue as part of Biafra. He said that I am mad, I don't know what I'm saying, I don't know what I'm doing. But in five minutes' time, we will see between myself and Abu Bakr Sav who is mad and who is normal. We are talking about Lower Benue. Not the whole Benue state. Lower Benue. The zoo media can distort what I'm saying all they like. But we know the truth. And on that very truth we stand. The truth is that Igede, Igede is Biafra. Yes. Pedoma is Biafra. Do you know why? David Mark is an English name, is that correct? Yes. Or should I say biblical name or anglicized biblical name? David and Mark. Ask the former Senate president to tell you his proper name. Yes. Ask him. And as I want to educate Abu Bakr Saab because in the zoo they don't go to school. How am I here? And he was even a former policeman. Abu Bakr Saab must know this. In Idoma land, Idoma, Idoma. What do they call their first daughter? Ada. Okay. In Idoma land, I'm not going to get down. I can only Idoma. In Idoma land, I. Okay. The answer, bro. That's the answer. Do they have a care area of Hong Kong? Yes, they do. I am asking, do they have a care area of Hong Kong? Do you see how stupid that the Kassab is looking now? They are dividing us even further. There are three local governments in Benue State that naturally belong to a Benue State. Yes. yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. So when we are asking for our kids and kids, our brethren in Benue, I am not asking for Baba Kassav. Yes. I am asking for Idoma people, for Igedo people, and for the people from a Benikavim to Benue State. Yes. That's the people we're looking for. Yes. What about Kassav? Mm. I never mentioned two people. God forbid. I said Idoma, Igedo, and our own people who are in Benue. The ruler of Idoma land is called. What's the name? 
Ochi Ibu. Onye na Ochi Ibu. Yes. Tell them. They said, why must I mention Kogi? It is not the whole of Kogi. Zoo media understand me very well. I am talking about a gala. Do you know that a gala people are their friends? Yes. This is why they want to turn you against IPOB. They want to turn you against me because I tell you the truth they can never tell you. Yes. Some of our fathers here are looking in bewilderment that we are telling them the truth. I only have one example to cite in the case of the Gala people. I want anybody here to go to a bossy. You know a bossy very well, don't you? Yes. In a bossy, there is a chief fancy title. It is called the Ata of Bossy. And who is the ruler of the Gala people? <laughs> Are you listening to me? Have you heard of the term Asokatezanya? Do you know those that brought in Kataneja Pesopu into Ibo land? Igala people, Igala, that's the way they dress. Yes. How are you in Yes. You don't know that? My goodness me. <laughs> These are the things they will never tell you inside the zoo. Inside the Obosu today, as part and parcel, well, I'm sure you know Upper Iweka Road. Yeah. You know Upper Iweka Road? You know there's a man called Iweka from Obosu. Do you know that his ancestors are from Egala? You don't know? Today you know. Yeah. These are the things they don't want you to know. Do you know why? What happened at Ozubolo? The killing in Ozubolo last night is an example of how they work. They first of all come, they try your resolve and your resistance, they use subterfuge to divide you. Once they see anything in your arm, any space they see, they exploit it, they unleash mayhem. That's how they work. Ohaneze must know this. Ohaneze Ndibo is responsible for the death of the people in Ozobo. Yes. And I will tell you why. The young pirate can go to get big guard. They thought that IPOB is a uniting force that binds everybody together. So they tried to bribe me and I said no. They killed us. We did not submit. Now listen carefully. They said, how do we get them? They went to Hanese and said to them, you must attack IPOB. But Hanese did not know that the reason why they are asking them to attack me is so there will be a petition to enable them coming to kill our people. They thought it's for politics. You know, maybe if we allow IPOB now, uh, now the time will come up and I will no longer get my contract at Abuja and uh, uh, my children will no longer be ministers. That's all what concerns them. They went to your governors. You know they are very stupid. You are useless governors. They are hopeless. Yes. They went to them and said, oh, condemn, condemn IPOP. 
the same governor, the God see that I will suffer for any governors are the ones supporting those I was a kid. Yes. Having meetings with them. Yes. So I will suffer for any governors can have meetings with their people asking for us to be killed in the north. Yes. But you, you are afraid of having meetings in the open with IPOB because you are afraid of what your was and master was to you. And you call yourself an evil leader. Do you know the meaning of leadership? Who now might hear leaders? You don't know. Only if you know. As soon as they divided us, that Ebony State, I don't even know what to do. Ebony State. Devil Omahi. Devil Omahi. Where is it? Devil. As, as soon as he said the rubbish, he said, as soon as Niyawo, they went to Anambra State of Assembly to condemn and to castigate IPOB. I knew Awosa had gotten what they are looking for. And the result was yesterday and early this morning. Do you know what will happen now? Nobody will say anything. They will say it is gas explosion. Yes. To test our will and our resolve to see how prepared we are to meet them. It's a very clever trap. Before they make any move, I know already. I knew this will happen. When I said I will stop you and will come to kill you in your villages, nobody will help you. I knew this was going to come. That's what they're looking for. But they have the vision. Once they do, this time. The one said, if he had known that evil people, should I say, the friends in general, are in love with money so much, he would not spend a dime buying guns and buying bullets. He would have just bought out the money, bring out a few evil men, give them that money, and say, go and fight with you for me. And they would do it very, very well. We said no voting in Anambra. Our people don't want to ask themselves why did IPOB say no voting? Or what benefit can we get by boycotting the elections? I will give them advice in the public. Since they don't listen in the in private, I'll tell them in public. What Ohanese and the opposition should have done is to keep quiet. I was not a person you say, I don't know now. Go and ask them. Meanwhile, you are where you are. Isn't, isn't how you try to do it? You keep quiet and when they disturb you, oh, try and stop IPOB. You tell them, I don't know how to stop them. Please go and talk to them. But there is one thing about our people. All our people see. Devil's work inside us. You know, we have that bit of jealousy and a bit envy. No, but it's not big, just small. Our water will come. It's like a very small seed inside us. They will add fertilizer to it and pour some water. The envy and the jealousy inside you will be growing. Growing. You will know. What is of no concern to you is uh, why should it be numb? Why not me? But your people are dying. What is of no concern to you is your status. Exactly what numb the Aziki will be to Ojupu. Aziki will said I will lead Biafra. Ojupu said no. Let's get this thing. He said no. What will be my status? He said nothing to Zeke. Zeke now went to the zoo and made a deal with them. How many of you here know that it was a number of people that composed the Biafra National Anthem? How many of you? One of my papa, I went to school. It was Aziki that wrote our national or compiled it, the lyrics. After a while, he abandoned us. 
So I prepared myself to be abandoned by your harness before we started. Because I knew they would abandon. Yes. I know them. Did, uh, did you hear Edwin Clark yesterday? Was it two days ago? Two days ago, sir. He went to go and see Oshibajo. Did you hear him? Yes. Did you hear Edwin Clark? Yes, sir. He did not. They asked him, he said, I have come to attend this meeting and I brought men with me. That's what he said. That men is here with me. Do you know why he said that? So you know he has backup in case you insult him. <laughs> but those that could have given him the the backup, he abandoned them. I ran to Abuja alone. They looked at him and swept him away from Abuja with nothing. But look at the Edwin Clark that went with people. He got almost everything he was asking for. Don't you know that? Do not marry. There is a type of sense, especially from Igbo people, that they do. And they don't know that is what is destroying them. Have you seen restructure? No. When I want to go restructure before. Yes, Have you seen restructuring before? No. Anybody that says to you, stop this Biafra, ask the person. How do we get what we're looking for? Do what it means. Before this time, most of these women have been they said it's restructuring. But now, Senate have said no. Then, where is your fallback position? Case closed. I will say this in Igbo because uh, this is where I was born. I said, I know Jim Pesha, I go to Makonu Konu again. Makonu Konu Konu they put all their eggs in one basket and these are the intellectuals there is no back position nothing so once you went to Abuja and they asked you to go and speak against IPOB and you accepted you came back destroyed IPOB or so they thought in their minds because we are indestructible yes after two and a half weeks came the announcement that they will not restructure now who is the fool do you see why you were killed yesterday and why they will continue to kill you? I don't hate anybody. I don't despise anybody. I am not disrespecting anybody. I am only praying that they can wake up from their slumber and understand their responsibility, not to their families, but towards everybody. The whole public. In the coming days and weeks, they are going to lie about IPOB. They will publish lies against me. Be prepared. It's going to happen. The more they know we are going to boycott a number of elections, the more desperate they become. The more lies they will publish about us. If it was an evil man who stole the amount of money that a patch stole, you will have another evil man volunteer himself to take him to EFCC. Yes. Do you know that? Yes. More than, more than one. They say Buhari is fighting corruption, yes? Is that not true? They said Buhari is fighting corruption. I have a question to ask all of you. Do you know Abacha? Do you know Abacha? Yes, sir. Was Abacha corrupt or not? Yes. Did I put a steal money or not? Yes. For the younger ones here, do you know Omar Obiko? Yes. You don't know him. You don't know how much he stole. There is no bank in the world that could have contained the amount of money. No bank in the world. 
Where is the EHT chairman from? Ibrahim Lamodi. Where is he from? Where is he from? Hausa Fulani. He's Hausa Fulani, yes? Yes. Has anybody stolen in Nigeria the amount of money stolen by Hausa Fulani people? No. Then ask yourself, why is it that always producing EFCC chairman? Huh? Was I better corrupt? I better. Was I better corrupt? His name was corrupt. Did you steal money? Yes. Do you remember that better loot? Yes. They said about the money outside. Yes. Do you know what Buhari said about her butter? Do you know what he said? That her butter is not a criminal. He said yes. He said it. Google it. He said it. He said it. Her butter did not steal any money. They are dragging Mr. Metu all over the place for campaign fund they gave him for only 400 million, only, only, they are dragging him all over the place. There is no Awosa Fulani big criminal in custody. They are free meeting about. And they are coming to tell about one idea. Then you should go and vote. Are you going to vote? No! I told you people, if you go and vote, what happened in Ozobro last night will keep on happening. If you want the people to stop to all the nonsense happening, then I tell you, make sure you do not vote. Make sure you go this gospel to others never ever to vote. This year is 2017, 50 years. Remember, seven. In this same 2017, did you receive irrefutable scientific evidence yes. that we are tied to Israel by blood? Yes. Not rhetoric, by blood. Yes. This same 2017, Chukwete Kabiyama brought out an Anambra election in 2017 for a reason and for a purpose. Yes. That we, I, B, O, P, may be got it. Yes. To send a very clear, unmistakable message to the world that we are serious about our freedom. Yes. We are tired of being killed every blessed day. We are tired of the hunger. We are tired of this hopelessness called the Soviet Republic of Nigeria. We are, tired. Yes. we are really tired of the pain and the subjugation. We are tired of this ridicule. We are tired of this joblessness. You graduate, there is no job. We are tired of all the bad roads. We are tired of these people going to Abuja to sell us out as usual. We are tired of being relegated to the dustbin of the society we know today as the zoo, Nigeria. We are tired of all these things. And only IPOB can save us. Yes. Only IPOB. We are not going to fight anybody. No. Don't let them fight in you that boycotting a nation is war, is a lie. If I'm sitting at my home in Okoze enjoying your friends, how am I causing war? I just want to understand. I said I'm not going to vote. I'll be at home. And join your friends, Salah. How is that law? They keep mentioning war to frighten you so that you have fear. And say, oh, if I don't vote, they'll bring one Alamajiri from Katsina to take over. It's a lie. Do you know why it's a lie? Because Anambra State House of Assembly is still in session. Yes. If there is no governor, they will swear in the Speaker of the House of Assembly. That is what the law says. They know the law, but they keep deceiving themselves. They keep deceiving themselves. And every six months, they will put another election. And every six months, we say no. All I'm asking for is a referendum date. Yes. 
I am not asking for war. Yes. I am asking them to give us a referendum date. Period. There is a verse that the white man, in fact, it's a gospel. The white man did not put in the Bible. I have it. No, I'm not happy. The same way that I have the amalgamation report by Lugard, I have it. I have it. Our WhatsApp for learning has been poor from the beginning. The reason why the northern and the southern protectors were matched together into one zoo, one giant zoo. <laughs> it's because they don't have any money to feed themselves. I have it officially. On British declassified information, I have it. I bought the books. Only two. 180,000. I have it. Because they were poor. The reason why Usa Fulani is hell bent on one Nigeria and prepared to kill for it is of oil and gas. Nothing more, nothing less. But are they going to stop us? No! Can any human being stop IPAB? No! Impossible to stop. I must tell you this day for you to have this in mind when you return home. We will boycott every election in the zoo until we get the effort. Yes, Some of you are not very sure because you are hoping on that uh, four cups of rice, no. one thing tomatoes, no. and two packets of Indian. No. There will be no voting. I can't wait for it. There will be no voting in Biafra land. They will tell you, oh, military will take over. Let them take over. It's better for us. Biafra will come quicker for us. If the military take over, I'm telling you the truth. The same way I told you about Buhari, don't believe me. I'm going to go back. Military regime is better for us. I'm telling you the truth. Biafra will come quicker yes. under military than under civilian. Then we can meet our enemies eyeball to eyeball. Yes. Because if I come now to meet them, they say go to the ballot box. If you don't know, an amber election is a trap for IPOB. Do you know why? You know we cannot support anybody. After the election, they will say, if at all they control the masses as they claim they do, why didn't they put their person inside the government house? In Oka. And no matter who you vote for, they have written the results in Abuja. It doesn't matter who you vote for. That day they will announce the person. If you are not happy, go to tribunal. That's what they will tell you. Isn't it? It is. And then they have brought IPOB down and they can never succeed. I can assure all of you. Yes. Therefore, when you see the allies and the stories they write against us, they will try to scare you through them. They will like to frighten you. Because the only thing they know is terrorism. Yes. Political terrorism. That's the only thing they have. You must do this. If you don't do this, you will do that. They came to us and killed us yesterday in order to terrorize us into submission. So what they are saying to us is that we, dear friends, we are their slaves. If we like it or not. The only way you can stop this slavery is by sitting at home on the 18th and not voting. This slavery will come to an end. Do you know what will happen? They will be forced to meet the wishes of the people. Yes. I listened to Bukola Saraki yesterday. He gave an interview to a television station. They asked him, 
Why did you people vote down devolution? He said it's because it is what people are asking for. Some people want to break up and say we don't want to do something that will make it seem as if you are listening to the people. <laughs> Senate President voted for by the people to represent the people. Go and do what the people want to say no. That is you. That's the way they operate. So we that voted for you to represent us, you have gone there and you're telling us that our views no longer count. That means it was not us that voted for you. Yes. I know called the result and you went in. Because if indeed we voted for you, you would have voted for the commission. As simple as that. At least you say to us, uh, I will take this. Uh, we'll, later on, we'll come back to the main thing you're asking for. Mm. That's how to negotiate. Yes. At least hold on to this one. Let's go back and see what we can do. Mm -hmm. And today I'm asking Ohaneze, have you got anything for us? <laughs> <laughs> it's a simple question. Yes. <laughs> so how about Canada? They came back empty-handed. And you want us to follow this, you will be empty handed. Is that possible? Oh! So it's not me. Because the facts speak itself. I want them to do better. I want Pam Dev to do better. I want everybody to do better. But always stand on the side of the people. Know what the people want and give it to them. What do you want? Yes, what do you want? Yes, what do you want? Yes, and that will be.